The eyes an organ, which gives you vision. Photoreceptors detect light with high precision. The bony orbits deflect impacts, and so the eyes protect. Anatomical layers of the eye are fibrous, vascular, and inner layers. Oh my! Each layer we will mention has specialized structure and function. The cornea and sclera comprise the dense fibrous layer of the eyes. They continue us with each other and give the eye Eyeball shape and structure. The sclera provides an attachment site for your extraocular muscles to hang on tight. These six eye muscles implement all of your eye movement. When the light through the cornea is sent, as it passes, the light's path is bent. Under the fibrous layer is the eyes. Vascular layer with three components. Ciliary body, choroid, and iris. The choroid's a layer that is full of blood vessels, which supply the retina which under the choroid nestles. The iris controls the pupil, which acts as an aperture. It shrinks or grows the pupils via smooth muscle fiber. The ciliary body has two parts, muscles and processes. The muscle attaches to the lens by the processes. The ciliary body also makes aqueous humor and it alters the lens's shape. When the inner layer gets light, it's detected to give you sight. The retinas are your eyeball sensors. Each retina is composed of another two layers. The neural one for seeing, the pigmented for maintaining. In the front, the eye's inner layer is called non-visual, while in the back, it's called the retina's optic part. As here, both retina layers stack at the retina's center. One can spy the macula and fovea centralis of the eye. The fovea has high photoreceptor density. Nearby, the optic distance signals backwards via the optic nerve. Behind the lens lies transparent gel, the vitreous body which fills space. In the posterior chamber is its place. A canal runs from optic disc to lens through this gel. It is a fetal remnant called the hyaloid canal. While the vitreous body is in the posterior chamber, the aqueous humor is in the anterior chamber. The lens is between the vitreous body and the pupil. The ciliary body grips it, changing focal length at will.